So I'm working on a Sims injection pump from, uh, I think it's a 1955 uh, Ford's Major. Uh, it's the R4596 pump. Now this thing was full of water. Cam lobes are a little, a little pitted. Original bearings are just, just shot. Uh, these are R20-11X. Uh, as far as I can tell, they're not available. Uh, they're 12 millimeter thick. So we've got um, three O two O fours, 15.25 millimeter thick. I'm gonna have to do a little machining uh, on the cases here. Could potentially do a little bit of machining on the, on the shaft collars, but at uh, three and a quarter millimeter, moving the bearing in three and a quarter millimeter is gonna start to get into interference with the cam follower. And it's also gonna get into interference with the sliding collar as the governor actuates out. It's gonna to be too tight. Too tight here, so I think we're into, into the cases. There's a chamfer here in the case. It's about a hundred thou deep. So three and a quarter millimeter, I think that's um, 127, 128 thousandths. So I think we're gonna take the hundred out of the case and that'll uh, not affect my seal bore. And then we'll take the, uh, we'll take the other remaining balance off of these shoulders. Things are, not too bad for how much water was in them. A little bit of, little bit of surface rust. That'll all kind of clean up. The governor was seized solid in the full rack position. Uh, apparently the owner had this tractor running with this pump, seized full rack. And apparently it didn't, didn't take off and run away on him. He seemed to think it was a fuel water and the fuel issue. I'm wondering if it was run previously and ran away, possibly got bent valves. I never seen the tractor run, uh, but apparently it didn't sound too good. If, if it had good fuel and no bent valves, it theoretically should have run, run away. We got the case over on the mill right now, getting set up to come in from underneath and take that hundred thousandths out of that bearing pocket. So we'll get, uh, We'll get the uh, camshaft back in it and uh, preload on the bearings and everything set. Then I got to get into um, into balancing the rack. She had some broken uh, broken barrel returns or uh, follower return springs as well. So we found some uh, some compatible springs. Hopefully we can get a working injection pump back uh, back together out of this. Um, she's definitely seen better days, but might live again.